All right guys, what I'm gonna do today is show you how to bleed your clutch in your motorbike. All right, so if you guys are having a problem right now, uh, first time I ever noticed that the problem was happening was I was pulling in my clutch, basically just like how I'm doing right now, and it felt really, really light. So what I mean by light, just like really easy to pull on, didn't really feel like I was like actually engaging the clutch at all. And what that means is, is basically I noticed that it was actually not catching or my clutch wasn't working whatsoever while I was driving. So when I was shifting, it wasn't working. Whenever I stopped, off, the bike would still inch forward and would just stall out when I hold the front brake if you guys think the actual whole clutch is broken on your bike it's actually not that at all so <clears throat> all you have to do now this is only gonna work on bikes that have hydraulic clutches so if your bike is hydraulic or if you want to know if it is hydraulic there will be some sort of reservoir which will be right over the clutch handle kind of just like as you see here just like you'll have for your disc brakes and your um, your front brake as you can see there basically this bike has disc brakes that's why I said that and there is a hydraulic caliper which is right there and it does the exact same thing basically as what I'm gonna be doing with my clutch what you're gonna be doing to bleed your clutch is first what you need to do is you need to take off the top little thing here it just kind of goes on like this it's just two basic screws just like over there and there's a little rubber grommet to help seal it and you just take that off there next what you want to do is you want to find where your clutch bleeder valve is mine is this nice new thing which is right here don't worry about this i had a video on how to change this bleeder valve because mine was actually stripped that's why it's shiny new and that the stator plate right here is off as well so it will be most likely having this rubber little grommet thing that will go over top of it just like that and all you have to do is take that off and that is your uh, bleeder valve so just like that how you're going to do this basically is you're going to need some dot four uh Blake, uh, sorry, dot four brake fluid basically is all I need. You can use dot three as well, just, you know, there's not much difference and everything is kind of going to dot four now. So I grab some of that. So all you really need to do, it's super, super easy to help your bike engage. Like right now, my bike will not engage into neutral. Basically, there's no sort of lubricant going through it at all. There's no hydraulic pressure being built, nothing like that. So first off, what you want to do is you just want to kind of fill this up. Now, mine is super weird. Um, as you can see, I can't fill mine up all the way because of the fact that I laid my bike down and um, my handlebars are not the aftermarket handlebars. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put you guys down here for a sec. All right, so next thing what you guys are gonna do is, is you're gonna get a ratchet. Mine is just on my bike, it's a 5 16 ratchet. You can use either end, see how this is like kind of, you know, you can fit it in like that if it works out better for you guys. If you have like a ratchet set um like these wrenches or you can just use this as well so all you're going to do is is this is tight right now and i'm going to build up pressure in the clutch up here so all i'm going to be doing is basically just squeezing the clutch like this just a little bit but now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be holding it in and as i hold it in what i'm going to do is i'm going to let this open so clutch is in right now what i'm going to do is is i'm going to loosen this up okay as you guys can see brake fluid is going to start coming out all that air bubbles as you guys can see right there let that all out because that air in the system is not going to help you engage your clutch at all again just going to tighten it up before you okay you don't have to tighten it super super tight but as you know it's tight what you're going to do is you're going to let off the clutch so i let off the clutch i'm going to pump it again a couple times okay you're going to do the same thing and i'm going to break it open again as you can see getting all the air out of the system so going to do that a couple times also what I'm going to be doing I have to fill this up a lot just because of my handlebar situation that I showed you guys at first but I'm going to continuously just keep filling up that reservoir making sure that there is no extra air being pulled into the system and so on and so forth all right guys sorry I had to move uh, from that spot over there I had to actually just to tell you guys what I did I didn't get the chance to kind of film it but for this bike what I had to do is it was basically I, I left the bleeder valve wide open for like about a week and it was really really basically really struggling to get pressure within this um, uh, this reservoir right here actually when I laid the bike down I noticed that I kind of cracked it as well so I had to do a little bit of messing around to kind of figure out how to um to really get this sort of moved down without any kinks in the hose as you guys can see here and made sure that it moved throughly so what i did is i just started the bike up a few times uh, i put it into gear i held the 
uh, I held the brake in and then just kind of kicked it into first gear. It would stall the bike and I do that multiple times. Also, I noticed the best way to doing this is to let this reservoir really run down to basically nothing. And then once that's done, I felt that there is a lot more pressure being built up in the clutch. So then I'd fill it up and fill it up instead of that little kind of top up every single time. So what I would do if you guys are doing this, you do the exact same thing I showed you in the first two little clips, right? You have your wrench. Basically, you loosen it up, crack it open just like that, and then that's while you are holding your clutch in. Why you do that is so that you don't let any air in the system, because the air in the system is what's gonna make your clutch really light and basically feel like your clutch is non-existent. So, right now, I did it multiple times. Uh, my clutch is really, really hard to pull in now compared to what it was, so I'm just gonna start the bike up, basically just make sure everything's good with it, but other than that, uh, that's basically how you would bleed your clutch now just make sure little tidbit at the end Obviously this spilt everywhere just take a rag clean it all up all that good stuff and make sure that this bleeder valve is Nice and tight so you don't want to strip it like I did but make sure it's nice and tight Okay, make sure there's that there's no fluid coming outside of it because you don't want to uh, be leaking brake fluid all over the ground or the asphalt and you also don't want any more air in your system. So I'm just going to plop this brake back on. I'm going to clean it all up just with a rag basically is what's going to go on and I'm going to go out for a nice long night bike ride so hopefully this helps you guys out if you do have a clutch that is basically non-existent right now don't worry it's if it's a hydraulic clutch just like this please try this first before ever thinking about mechanical issues or taking your bike all apart because it could just be an easy fix just like this so if you like this video if you also want to learn how to change this bleeder valve uh, i also have a video out on that as well so hope you guys subscribe to the channel like up and as always let's play it off with some music